I'm at the base of Warabo Village, which is somewhere up there. It's going to be about a two to three hour hike up to an old traditional Indonesian village. Uh, we've just had probably a 10 to 15 minute ride on these motorbikes here, um, down from pretty much sea level. Um, it's going to be a great night going up to stay in a traditional Indonesian hut. I'll take you along for the journey. The first kilometre or so of the path is well paved. And along the way, there are rest huts like this. This is not an entirely dumb idea. This is how supplies are got up. We're about 15 minutes into a two hour hike and this is all vertical, no down bits. One of the guides, one of the members of the group before we took off, asked the guide how hard's the walk. Gave a great answer. Said the walk is as hard as you want it to be. I reckon that's mindset right there. We're going for about 35 minutes. No idea what the elevation is, but we're going to end up at 1200 meters. And uh, we've been going 35 minutes in a two hour, two and a hour, two hour and a bit walk. And my glasses are not unfogging. It's a bit difficult. Down there on the flats is where we've come from. And my new friends here in their broken English have told me that it is still very far away up there. So I've been going for about 55 minutes. I am pretty much knackered. There is eight in my group in total. That includes the tour guide Manuel. My son Jack is ahead of me, then there's me, then everyone else is behind down there somewhere. The walk isn't too difficult, although uh, it started to get a bit slippery now, um, but it's long. And I uh, do feel for those in the group who may not have my low level of fitness. It'd be hard work. The track isn't difficult, it's just long. This area is renowned for coffee. This is Robusta style coffee. There's two sorts on the island, Arabica and Robusta. I'm not quite sure what they mean, other than I much prefer the Arabica. Inside these little beans, uh, when they're red, peel them, and there are two coffee beans inside. I take my hat off to the first person who said, let's dry this, roast it, crush it, and drink it. Hello. Hello. Oh, the coffee. Yeah. It's taken me one hour and 28 minutes to get here to this little uh, shelter. The village is just down there. I can see a few of the huts. I can hear the chooks. I can hear kids playing. My guide said, um, please don't enter the village without him. Unfortunately, my, Jack, my son Jack has uh, run ahead and I'm not sure he got that message. So I'm just going to wait here for the other team. Uh, I'm tipping, it could be somewhere up to an hour, maybe two hours before they arrive. Before entering the village, it's important to knock on the door to let them know that you're coming. Because they know you're coming, they will welcome you with an official welcoming from the village elder and his trusty translator. I'm up in Weirabo village on the island of Flores in Indonesia and I thought I'd come up here to a really cool spot and share with you something that I think is super insightful. But as I got here, what I realised is that's more insightful than anything I could ever say, so please enjoy the view.
This place is just gorgeous, other than a clown flying a drone. It's beautiful, so peaceful. The dorm is fairly empty tonight, except for us and a few poms. So here we are, the uh, morning at Waybo Village. Um, I had a terrible sleep last night, probably only got about three hours. Um, if you come here, bring yourself a decent blanket, uh, warm clothes. We were told that a light jacket like this is probably not going to even be needed. Uh, it was freezing. Um, I've also come down with a bit of barley belly, which doesn't make things good. Um, you also need to bring toilet paper, didn't know that. Um, but a beautiful place, absolutely gorgeous. If you do come, bring warm clothes, maybe even bring a blanket if it's easy enough to fit in. Um, and do some stretches before the walk. I reckon I'm paying for that, not doing that. This place is just beautiful. Having the right mindset in life is crucial to achieve anything. If you want to visit the most amazing and beautiful places at a time that works for you, my book, Mindset Mastery, will show you how to deactivate that voice in your head that says, no, I can't. That voice that keeps you playing small, that holds you back, that finds a problem to hold you back and not to do and achieve what it is that you want. If you want to quieten that voice in your head so you can focus or travel or be the next best version of you, my book, Mindset Mastery, Do Less, Achieve More, will show you how to do it. You can get it from darrenfleming.com.au slash books, the link here on the screen. Cheers.